Oregonians are in love with their wildlife. Just ask them. I, I'm a native Oregonian and I've always been proud to be an Oregonian. And this is just, you know, one more thing that makes it such a cool place to be. Oregonians spend hundreds of millions of dollars each year to travel and see wildlife, to buy food and lodging or equipment and clothing that make the viewing easier. And yet, for all the money we spend to see fish and wildlife, nearly 300 native species are in big trouble because the places they live in, called habitats, are vanishing. Oftentimes they're declining, their habitats are small, there may be conservation issues or threats to them. We'd like to be able to find a dedicated funding source to, to go into those restoration efforts. So this week, Bart and Nature came together to help protect native species habitats through a new contest. It, it's fabulous. We have everything from the uh, snowy plover to painted turtles to Oregon spotted frog. Artists from across the country submitted entries that show the Oregon species that are most at risk, like the Lewis woodpecker, Fender's blue butterfly, even Oregon state bird, the western meadowlark. Highly dependent on grassland habitats. It's more plentiful on the east side, but you know, was found historically throughout the Willamette Valley and because of you know, just urbanization and the number of people over time, those grassland habitats have shrunk. The legislature approved the contest so the agency could raise money to help wildlife. A $40 stamp will become a collectible. Wildlife managers hope the idea catches on with the public. It's voluntary in nature, so people can support it as they see fit. Uh, and the money goes right back in on the ground uh, to benefit these species. We've never had really a dedicated funding source like this, first of its kind. At the end of the day, Oregon State Bird, the western meadowlark, painted by North Bend resident Sarah Stack, was the winner. She gets $3,000, the state holds on to printing rights, and the public gets a new chance to help wildlife. We're really excited. What we see is just the beginning as this building over the years. The Habitat Conservation Stamp goes on sale in June.